What up? Live from y'all, it's your boy LeCan. We face famous. I'm the judge. You're the jury. We got Humana Kind. And what we gonna do, we gonna break it down. Y'all thought I forgot. Y'all thought I left. I thought I was on vacation, but now I'm back. Wait. Hanuman Kind. Go to sleep. Let's go. Let's break this shit down. Let's get it now. Okay, yeah, we back. We got the sound back. Let's get back into this breakdown. Humana Kind. Go to sleep. Let's go. But I'm up. Are you up? We up. Y'all up. Let's go. Oh, he doing like one of these one shot videos where it's just one shot and it goes all the way through and you got these transitions. A lot of famous movie makers do that. Um, Spike Lee has done it. Um, who's the guy who did Lock, Stock and Smoking Barrels? He did um, Snatch. He did, um, oh shoot, his name is on my mind. I can't think. Of, let me know in the comments. I can't think of that goddamn director, but he does it a lot. It'll probably come to me later on when I'm watching this. All right, let's go. If I had a dollar every time I was the underdog, I'd be living on an island. And once again, I like it when he sit here and put the Indian instrumentals in there, native to his country, especially them horns and them uh, the flutes and the bells and all that stuff in there. He's with it. So what he does, he ends up putting all his stuff in his music. So it keeps a natural feel of his home country. And it's not just straight hip hop from, you know, America. He adds the essence of his country into a good. Let's get it. If I had a dollar every time I was the underdog, I'd be living on an island made of solid gold. Basically, hey, I've been counted out so many times. We're going to let the man cook. Cook, we're going to bring it back, break it down. Let's go. For all the times that I felt I wasn't good enough, I'll be falling now, man, like I own the world. Sometimes Nirvana do not feel like it can be achieved, mainly because I try and find it in a pretty girl or in a bottle while I'm rolling. Yeah. Oh, we're going to try to hit him on the screen transition. So that's what we'll do. We'll bring it back. Let's go. So now if he's talking about he's an underdog, that way he's, hey, I have an island made of solid gold. Y'all count me out so goddamn much. Dude, I could be living on an island made of gold. But guess what? I still come out on top. Get it. And look at it, guys, chick back there fussing at him. He can't even wake up good because you got your chick all over you. You know what? How many people have been in a relationship like that when you waking up and they first thing you do, you ain't even brush your teeth. You ain't even got out of bed. They already on your ass. Shit sucks. You got to let them know. Let's go. Look at him. Can't even wipe his eyes. Man, they ain't even woke. And she is on his ass. I feel like, man, get out. Mm-hmm. Those who don't know, Nirvana, basically peaceful bliss. And also, remember the band Nirvana got that song, Smell Like Teen Spirit, Kurt Cobain. Kurt Cobain. Unfortunately, you know, not with us no more because he kind of did it to himself. What well, he did doing, ain't got no kind of. It's a lot to do it to himself. But Nirvana, you want to be there. You want to be peace. I'm huh? like Van Halla. Basically, because my life is so messed up, maybe I could find bliss and happiness within a pretty woman. If I could find it in them, and this woman's gonna make me happy, cool. But what he's saying now, nah, I ain't gonna find it in her. Just because, see that girl giving him hell right now? He ain't finding Nirvana in that, even if he's sleeping with her. Ain't happening. Relationship, he's saying it ain't happening because I tried to find it. Key word, I tried to find it. Not working out for him. Let's go. Or in a bottle while I'm working this. Hey, think of how many people get stressed out. First thing they do, man, I'll turn up the bottle or I'm going to smoke a blunt or whatever. But guess what? The one thing that's going to happen once that high and that alcohol wear off, you're back to square one. Them problems still there. A lot of people do it. Watch out for that, man. Don't be looking for trying to solve your problems in a bottle or smoking. It's still going to be there. If smoking, like, you know, weed helps you think clearly, Use it to your advantage. If not, otherwise, the problem's still going to be there. 
I'm going to get drunk and high and I ain't going to think about this. And the minute we're off, you back at it. Let's go. Instant gratification versus the perfect world. I want the perfect world, but instant gratification while I trying to do these other things with a female or the alcohol or the weed, but it ain't going to happen. It ain't. You got two opposing forces going at yourself. Let's get it. No. Cook it, boy. Cook it now. Now he's cooking. All right, let's go. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Bring it back. Now, look, I don't need validation. I just need a break. That's all I need. I need a break from these problems. I need a break from this BS. Get off my ass about it. Let's go. Fuck a Kit Kat. No, of course, Kit Kat. Break. Give me a break. Give me a break. That's what he said. I don't need a break. I don't need a validation. I just need a break. Kit Kat Sting song. Give me a break. So, Kit Kat, give me a break. And also, homies ain't nothing sweet because Kit Kat is a candy bar. So, you're talking about nothing sweet. Kit Kat, give me a break. Nice lead in. No, give me a break. Give me a break. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Let's go. I feel like a bounty on my head is like coconuts. Man, if somebody got money on my head. I feel like somebody want me to fail, want me to lose. They got money on it. Come get them. Take them out of gratification. Take them out of nirvana. Go get them. We got money on you. Go capture this boy. Let's get it. Cat, homie, this ain't like a bounty on my head and that shit coconuts. coconuts. I love the transitions in the... It goes from one shot to the next. That's what I'm saying. Let's go. Now, Jeff Hardy, wrestler with the Hardy Boys. Jeff and Matt Hardy, there was the Hardy Boys. And Jeff Hardy used to do a swanton bomb off the top rope onto people. And it's damaging, which means that normally knocks his opponent out. And his opponent goes, one, two, three, game over. Match over. You up out of there. And sometimes Jeff Hardy gets hurt, too. But the swanton bomb, Jeff Hardy, Hardy Boys, shout out. WWE was WWF. He also went to AEW. He also was on TNA. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Nothing sweet. Feel like a bounty on my head and that shit coconuts. Got me dipping at the party because I need a sleep. I'm Jeff Hardy on the top. The shit is damaging. Look great in front of the crowd, but how we manage it? Yeah. Nice. Let's go. Look great in front of the crowd, but how he's managing. Jeff Hardy, of course, he performs in front of the crowd when he does the Swanton Bomb. And also, when he does his wrestling, so it looks great in front of a crowd. But how he managing. Because remember, Jeff Hardy was addicted to drugs and alcohol and all that. And WWE did have to suspend him for a while until he was able to come back. So, look great in front of a crowd, but how he's managing. He had to manage all that substance abuse problems in front of a crowd to perform, but out, outside of the uh, the arena, at home, wholly different story. Got you, bro. Let's go. Basically, because he was breaking his body up as well, plus, like I said, the substance abuse. So, to keep that tempo on the rise, because... He was climbing. He was one of the top stars. And jumping off the top rope with the Swanton Bomb. Keep it on the rise. But a lot of wear and tear for doing that finishing move off the top rope onto the opponent. Yeah, 
most people ain't about it. They say they are, but when they're scared, they say, man, I'm about that. I'm about to go do this, go do this. But something always holds them back, the mind. They talk themselves out of it, so you ain't as bad as you think you are. Let's go. Shout out Master P. Bout it, bout it. Because he's the one who started that, that phrase. Bout it. Master P, No Limit Records. New Orleans. Let's go. People say they Shout out, shout out, Fight Club, Project Mayhem. Yeah. Remember, Project Mayhem's a guy who felt like a loser and loner. He created a split personality to start doing all this dirt, which is him. But re the movie basically is a whole twist. But. The guy felt like a loser. He wanted to feel included and involved in Project Mayhem when he created Tyler. Tyler, which was played by, um, oh shit, played in Troy, Jennifer Aniston, and, um, oh shit, I can't even think of dude's name. It's Jennifer Aniston, and, um, why can't I think of his name all of a sudden? Jennifer Aniston, Troy, let me look it up real quick. Troy film. Cass. God damn it. Brad Pitt. Duh. Brad Pitt. So basically he created Tyler. Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt is the one that actually was doing all the damage. Created Fight Club. What's the first real Fight Club? You don't talk about Fight Club and therefore that's how he got his thing. And with him doing his thing, he also was saying, look, we about to destroy this whole thing to send a message that we are anti-establishment. Let's go. And mostly they had them fights in the basement or in wherever little places they meet up to have these fights and get their anger and all that stuff out from everybody, from lawyers to the low man to the high man, judges and everything. But it was a place for these men to go ahead and get all their stress out and everything and things they was about so they fought each other but showed each other love because at the same time it was just about releasing Tension, anger, stress, but you still got it out and still show love. Let's go. Which is how the dude felt. He felt complacent in his job and like he was going nowhere, which is how Tyler was going. All right, let's go. Cook. Go to sleep. Fight clubbing. Go to sleep. Maybe I'll listen with just another fucking tree. So he has the transitions. And then he has, uh, what's the other movie? Rock and Roller. That also does some transitions too. I still can't think of that director's name. Put it in the comments. I don't know why it's escaped me right now. But either way it go, he has a fight club setting going on now. So going to sleep. So he's saying all these problems in my head like a never ending loop. Like it's not going to end. I'm feeling complacent, vacant. This is not going to end. Let's go. But we're going to talk about the bars because it's one thing I know about his bars. He's connecting a lot of rhymes up in here. Let's get it. Get yourself a decent view. Tired of feeling complacent. Complacent. Feeling vacant. vacant. Out of my head a never ending loop. View. Complacent. Vacant. Loop. He basically had an internal rhyme scheme, which in the view and loop. But on top of that, which you could call it a run on rhyme. You could call it internal rhyme schemes. He has some of that as well as using the same letter and vowel sound on the end of all his bars on top of that let's get it i'm just tired all the time man. guess it's good night for the time time man. go to sleep maybe i listen with just another fucking dream go to sleep This dude is a hidden gem. So depending on how many times Humanikind does his videos and his rap and he keeps it going right now, why he's on fire is key. If he don't keep it doing why he's on fire, he's going to lose steam. This man, he's hot right now. Def Jam India found somebody. Even though the man originally from Houston, 
and kicked it with them and then went back to India. But he was he he had a buzz in Houston as well. So don't forget the man's really was he was a Houston rapper and he went back home to India. So start his career up. He and he's hot right now. It's a burden when you live with Tyler Durden. I'm telling you, that's what I'm saying. So now he's in a fight club arena. He's going, cook. Keep knocking on your window so you find yourself observing. Even when you want to rest, because rest assured, he be determined to show what you have been facing when you're racing with the vermin. It's a rat race daily. What we chasing is disturbing. Never happy to win scraps of whatever that we've been learning is deemed worthy to impress us. Understand. Oh, come on now. Look at how he's ending these bars when he's rhyming. On the end of these bars, Tyler Durden and serving and burning it. The dude is adding a lot of different homophones, which is words that rhymes the same. They're not truly rhyming words, but the words that sound like just to rhyme enough to connect with what he's doing. Don't think I didn't catch that. Let's bring him. Bring it. It's a burden when you live with Tyler it's a burden when you live with Tyler Durden. So you're already starting it off right there. But then he carries this scheme on for a lot of this verse. Versus using the the long U and R. Basically he's using the long U. A-E-I-O-U. So basically losing the, he's using the long U. That's what he's doing. Or that U sound. Go. Your window, so you find yourself observing even when you want to rest. Because rest assured he be determined to show what but he's using the ur and er to make all this work the ur er sound is what's carrying this scheme on the whole time. so you find yourself observing even when you want to rest because rest assured he be determined to show what you have been facing when you're mm. with the vermin it's a rat race daily. so like i said it's a rat race rat race to the food so like i said i'm with the bottom feeders but it's a rat race. We're all trying to get to the same spot. Almost like the crab in the barrel mentality. So we're trying to get there. And that way, because of the goals that I have, I feel like I'm with everybody else. We all fighting for the same thing. Zip it A. Look at the fight scene. Let's go. Knocking on your window so you find yourself observing. Even when you want to rest. Because rest assured he be determined to show what you have been facing when you're racing with the vermin. It's yeah. Rat race daily. What we chasing is disturbing. Yeah. 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 See how he's carrying this whole scheme with the ER UR sound. Right now he's on the ER. Yep. So I'm living like a hermit. All this stuff is happening. I don't care. I'm living like a hermit anyway. I'm already dirty. So what's the point? <laughs> Froggy, Kermit the Frog, Kermit the Frog, Jim Henson, <laughs> the Muppets. Oh. Merlin the Magical Sorcerer, think about it, goes back to the days of King Arthur and all that stuff. So Merlin, Merlin also had the magic. He also helped control dragons and things like that the grand wizard of back then of king arthur's time and those tales of knights So he said, Guy Ritchie, that's the director's name. God dang it. Guy Ritchie is his name. Guy Ritchie created a lot of movies over there, especially on London and the UK and stuff like that. Guy Ritchie, God dang it, finally got it. Let's go. My life is so bad. I deserve everything that's happening right now, even though I'm trying to get up out of this and go get it. Let's go. Magic, I'm not 
people are pissed sitting tied sitting inside the urine piss urine you piss in the urine nice little nice little double entendre okay 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 simple math let's go Like it is, I do. Got some shit that's in the basement. basement. You just keep patient. Maybe you can get yourself a decent view. I'm cooking something up from that basement. It's coming up. You stay patient when I get ready to unravel and let this out on y'all. Y'all about to find out what I'm all about. Let's go. I'm cooking up from the bottom, getting it from the mud. That's in the basement. And if you just keep patient, maybe you can get yourself a decent view. Tired of feeling complacent. Tired of feeling vacant. Out of my heart's never ending loop. I'm just tired all the time. Yeah. And you can tell in the video it's like all he wants to do is sleep. He does want rest, but his mind is going at so much that he got to do so many things in, stress the hell out. And like he's saying, my body's tired. It's when to sleep. But I can't. I got shit to do. Let's go. And you can see it in his face, like, God damn, I'm fucking tired. What a sleep. I'm so sick of that shit. Like, all right, to keep it moving, though. Let's go. Go to sleep. Get him. Shout out to the director. Pill bottles. It's really like he made a mini movie in four minutes. I'm feeling that. Let's go. The African one who loves blue coffee. I'm with it. Let's see if he got some ending credits, some mid row credits. Nope. All right. Hey. Hey. And that man who kind, I'm feeling it. I'm with it. It's your boy, Le Pain. We face famous. You see it. Now, here's the thing about it How far will he rise in hip hop? I think he has a good chance to be one of the good rappers out there. I can't say great, can't do that. I, I got to see more because the last video I did of his was the newest one. So will he keep riding this wave? Because sometimes when you hot, you got to go now. You got to keep going. So you can't do it. So how high would he rise? And with the backing of Def Jam, how far can he go with the recordings, especially doing this from India? So you got to get people turned on to your music. Like you say, he got the Houston roots, the India roots. So with that being said, I would say this. My thoughts, I like it. I'm feeling them. The dude's a beast. From the two, these two songs I'm seeing him do, I don't want to keep going too far back. I want this man to stay hot, stay fresh, keep going on, keep doing it. So we with it. Your boy Lacane and we're face famous. You see it? Yeah, we got more coming. Yeah.